Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here, and it is um, Wednesday morning, the 25th, um, the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm going to try to get a video in here early um, today so that I have uh, several things I have to get done. So the same as always every holiday. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing because... Um, I haven't pre-planned anything, but I just wanted to go and show you what I've already done, and then maybe we'll work on a couple things that I have in mind. Um, so the last video, I showed you um, this kit by uh, Pink Monarch Papers that I purchased. Um, let me see if I have one that's not put together. I had it here somewhere. Oh, where'd she go? I don't know what I did. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. So this was the kit. Um, it was, um, it came in sections like this, the back and then the pocket and then another pocket that goes on top of that, like that. And you um, glue that all together. And then it had a tag and a couple small tags for this pocket. So that was uh, pretty much what it, how it came and as I explained before that you could change this out to as use it as a template if you wanted to uh, with your own papers if you had something that you wanted to use instead of what she printed it on but um, it has been kind of fun to work with so that's what I did here and what I did was I made two of these uh, pockets and they're so they're hanging pockets and then one side here and then one side here. I attached it at the top with some uh, fabric. It's called weaver's cloth, but you can use, um, you know, muslin or any any fabric you want, or you could actually use paper if you'd like. I just wouldn't trust paper to be bent back and forth like this because it, it may um, break. So then on the inside is just, I use coffee dyed here and I stitch that onto here to have writing space. So this fits over and then I, I finished off like her tag here. Um, I'm gonna put a eyelet up here and a tie and then I put a journal card in here from uh, Janie B's collection. And then uh, one of these little, um, ephemera pieces that I also got on um, Pink Monarch's uh, website, her Etsy page. And then I did the same on this side, okay? So I didn't use her cards in this. Um, I wanted a more color. Um, so this part then, uh, as I go into the book, oh, I have that piece um, put there because we need to put that in. Um, I'm not sure which page I'm going to put it on, though. Um, I think this page has... This was another thing I was going to do. Okay. We have one large embellishment here, which I have to stitch around all these cards and do that, but I can do that off, off screen. I just haven't done it yet. So I think I want this to hang on a page that's kind of sturdy. Um, so this is the center of that. Maybe I'm, I don't want to hide that necessarily, but it doesn't really hide it because you're just, um, actually let's hide a blanker page. This page I'll probably put a pocket. So let's put it on I'm sorry, just trying to figure out what to do. Let's put it on this. This is kind of sturdy, this page here. So we can set it up there on that page and then it'll just sit up in the book like that. And then down like this. I may have to trim off this one page. I don't know why it's so much longer than the other pages, but a little bit taller. Maybe I just didn't trim it off. Okay, so then, oh, and in this book, let me get this piece here that I was working on. Okay, I have this. Um, I was watching somebody's video, 
or uh, several videos, you know, that have these uh, book pages. And um, I really didn't, sometimes I will take my glue page and I will fold it in half like this and wasn't sure what, what to do with that. But I decided that I could glue that to a book page here as a background and then I can slip a journal card in there just like that and glue this whole page, this down to a page. So, so I inked this one up. Um, let's see, I just put that one thing in this book, so let's put this in another book. I always end up getting one book full of stuff and the other books are not full. Okay, so this is journal spot here. This is the inside of the page, so usually put a pocket there. This one, um, yeah, I don't want to cover the whole page. I kind of like that page, I don't know. I guess you could journal all in down here. This one is on this page. Um, oh, we already have one of these on this side. So that's not, we don't want to put the same thing in there. So I can't remember half the time what I do. Okay, let's see. I think I'll put it on this page because you really can't, can't really do much with this page other than um, it's not a journaling spot. Oh, I thought about covering that because I don't know if I wanted to say photographs now. This is the corner pocket. Okay. I have to think about this, what I'm going to do. I don't really um, care for this page. It's a little too pink, so maybe I'll just stick it on here. I think I will. All right. Let me get my glue stick. So I hope everybody's having a good week and getting what they need at the stores. Um, having small family gatherings this year. Okay, so this, um, you know, you could put anything in this little pocket here if you wanted to. So if you didn't want to put something as big as this going in the journal, because this is gonna stick out a little bit, but that's fine with me. I think that kind of adds character. All right, so that's in. Now this, um, then I have these other little pockets that I just threw together. These have not been stitched yet, but I thought I could um, just put these like in a couple corners and stick them in. Do I have one going the other way? It's this one. So see, I can put that maybe there. And then, let's see what I can find to put in it. Oops, that's, I guess it'll go down there, but it's a little bit tight. A little spot to journal. 
on that tag. Just looking at my options. Might be kind of nice there. I'm looking to see if I had another kind of pocket. that on that I can um, some tags in that this is a flip over tag not sure what to do with that one yet I thought I had some other postcards, but I guess I mean, see him now. Hmm. I've tried to keep this a little organized because I have such a hard time finding things. put them in this basket, they, they're all flipping over, so. I want to put one of these clocks in the corner. Those don't work. Okay. I guess I I guess I used all those postcards. I mean I can use these. Uh, it just has this blank spot there. I want to put something in the front of this postcard. there. Okay, I'll leave that right there. So I need to sew around all these. Okay, so here, do I want this clock or do I want that? I kind of like the clock. And then maybe I'll stick this in there. Okay. I'm not, not going to sew around the clock. Chocolate, chocolate, walnut. Looks like chocolate. Yes, I have chocolate on my mind. Okay. Yeah, so it goes this way. That little barometer thing throws me off as to what's front and top and bottom. I'm just gonna go around maybe to there. So. And then I'll have to come back and sew 
around this. Put some backing on it. Coffee guy. I wanted to put some sort of a little booklet in here um, where they could write like all their family names and things like that instead of, you know, all over the book but have one section and make a little booklet. So I have to figure that out. All right, so let's, we'll put this card at this front of that side. Let's put a pocket in this side. I kind of like that um, darkness of that card. And then maybe we'll put these in the fronts of the other ones. All right, so that... So, one journal, okay, journal, journal. I'm just trying to look to see if we could use some of these little pockets. Then I made, this one's like a little booklet. So, Let me show you real quick how I did that. This little book. I think it was on uh, Patricia Veramonti's uh, pocket making video, an older one. So um, I took two pages out of the book. This one is, I think, one page long. You may have already seen this. I'm thinking maybe most people have because that's kind of the first thing you learn is how to make pockets. So um, just gonna glue these two pages together to form a stronger pocket. book here down there. Okay. And then ink around this. Now let's see, I'm going to cut that first, so let's ink it afterwards. Okay, and then this piece, <coughs> fold it in half. Glue it. I'm not going to get to the edges because I don't put them in the book. Okay. I'm going to just glue that shut. And then that goes on here. Now, on my sewing machine, they got that on bobbin. So I don't know if I can sew it around. I'm just putting a different color bobbin in the back because you can't. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. Yeah. Mm. I guess it depends on. I was thinking about putting it in the book, um, something like this, where it's on this side of the page and this side. Let's do it like this way. So it's sewn in the signature like that, and it's left open, you know, so you have one on this side. Then this would be blank on that side. 
So really what would work would to be have two pockets on each, one on each side. Not if that'd be too thick or not. So put one on this side and then one on this side. Let's see. I was playing around with these um, <clears throat> yesterday, just to see what, okay, so I have to ink this part before I glue it down or I won't be able to get in there and ink it. So I haven't glued, I mean, I haven't sewn any of the pages in yet on the, in the journals, the signatures. So this way, if I feel like, oh, I've got too many pockets on this side or whatever, I can move them around. That's kind of one of the reasons I don't, um, now you don't have to sew this at all. Maybe I won't sew it. I'll just, um, let me think about it. The only place I would probably sew it would be down the middle like I had. Oops. The edges are kind of rough. Okay. this stick this one down so my videos the last couple were pretty long I apologize I just didn't have a stopping point um, I just kind of wanted to keep working at it because I was getting all right so because I've never done this before. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be gluing and I see it needs to be glued shut here. So let's just put a little glue in there. It's not gonna show really. I mean, if you don't get it perfectly. As long as your um, little journal cards don't fall through. All right, so now this gets folded in half. It's kind of thick. But if you're using um, lightweight book pages, that'll help. I mean, the extra strength will make you be able to use them. Okay, so now in this one, I sewed straight down and then I just sewed the pockets um, edges shut. And so then fold this in half. You can use a corner rounder. Um, or if you want a deeper corner at the top, you can cut it. I'll just do the corner rounder. Now I'm going to ink around here. Okay, so I want to put this like where I have all these, uh, I don't know why I have so many of these together. Really needs to, I really need to split this here. Let's 
do this. I don't think that was the center page. Let's see, maybe it was. No, this one is the center. Okay. That's got that on it. And this doesn't have anything. Let's just do it in here to break up this journal page. That way it doesn't look so empty when you turn the page. And then we'll fill this with some journal cards. I'm going to sew around these too. I'm just not going to do it on camera. See, so we can even put tall ones in there if you wanted. You could decorate that. But I was thinking her smaller ones, where are they? I may have to print some more of those off. Or this, see, I kind of like the idea of being able to um, use like these little see that just sits in there like that. So I'm going to ink this up. just printed these on the parchment paper and it's a little journal spot but it looks cute looks different than a tag it's not the same old thing and then she put the cute little paper clips on them um, I saw her on um, pink monarch I don't know what her name is. I didn't remember. I'm just going to do this. I Sometimes, like, when I'm journaling, I don't need a whole page for that little part that I'm doing. And I'll take it and do squiggly lines. <laughs> but if I had lines, then it would be kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna stick that in there. And then let's get something for the other side. Oh, let's see, what did I do? Okay, that is there, that. Okay, thought I did it upside down. So now in here, because we have another spot, um, put another piece there. I don't know what happened to the little journal cards. Hmm. I got all my birds are in here too. I don't know how that happened. I mean, we could put a couple little things in in these pockets for journaling. This one, this one I sand it with the sandpaper and I probably put a little too much. Okay. I'll be glad when I'm done with this ink because this um, makeup sponge or whatever, it keeps falling apart and getting crumbs everywhere. Okay, we have this side. Um, there's one. Okay, 
Oh, that one's, I might have to cut that in half. I think I could get better use out of it if it's. I will just sew it and make it look cuter. Put a tie or something. Okay, and then I also had some of these shorter ones that came out of that kit that would work perfect in here. And even on that one, I could like glue something. I don't know if those look too newish compared to the other photographs. She looks a little older. I mean, a vintage here. Oh no, I don't really like those. I like these, but they're botanical looking. I just like the way that that looks. All right, so there's a tag there. I might find other tags. Okay, so that kind of just sets it off a little bit, right? That's for that side. That's for that side. All right. Now let me get into another book because we can add some more of these book page type things to another I have just this plain pocket. So this one here is the same thing. Um, all right, these two I've already glued together. And um, let's see, I think, I guess I have a, this on a fold. I glued these both going the same direction. That was the problem on that one. So this one, I thought about uh, doing as a page flip. But I don't know if we need that. have that. Let me get a couple of German pages out. Okay, so I need two. I don't know. these pages goes upside down. Oh, okay. I just folded it over. That's what I did. Okay. So let me trim this off a little bit so it's even. Oops. Better didn't like that paper. doesn't like some thin paper. Okay, so I have one the right side up and one upside down. So that should make for a good pocket. Sure, this 
one's upside down, this one's right side up. I mean, you could do these with, you know, any kind of paper that you've printed or whatever you want, like part of the picture to be, like if you had flowers and you wanted to make a pocket, but you want the flowers all to be going up the right direction. So you do it the opposite. So now see when I turn it up, actually both is going to be going the same direction. But I don't like it to have the raw edge. I like it to have a smooth edge up here. this. Hope that fits in a page. Actually, it's a little too big. So let me cut off. I don't think my cutter will cut it. Now if the glue's on there, it's even going to be worse. Let me see. It could be just that it has piece of garbage in it. They're coming out to work on my house today, but they're not doing this room. They're doing another room. So, still going to be rolling over chairs. I mean, over a bad floor. Um, because I'm having that surgery, I didn't want... Because everything that's in this room is going to have to go out in the living room and it, uh, while they work on it. And I didn't want it sitting in there while I was recuperating because I didn't want to look at it. Plus I wanted, I might be able to journal. I don't know what I'll be able to do. All right, did we put any book page in this one? I don't think so. Okay. We didn't see any, so I want to put it on. I like that other one that flipped open. Let's put it on here. All right, I'm going to leave it in here because I need to sew this, okay? And then I'll need to find a journal card to put in here. with that to put some backing on that but I like that um, color with it and then I'll maybe I can decorate this what can I put on there what can I how about Kind of like treasure because that to me has something to do with um, history. I have like some of these unfinished collages that. Yeah, they're just not done, so I don't. The 
these are just little things. I might be able to use these on something else. You know, they add just a little bit. Um, and I probably could find a word to use. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Huh. Gotta have, put that with my Christmas stuff. Okay, I kind of like this treasure on there. just going to clip that on and I'll I'll glue it after I get it sewed I think all right there's another piece done all right so let's see book page in that one and I think we put the book page in this one so I thought I'd put a book page in this one somewhere. I have these pieces left here. And I thought just even a belly band, because we have a lot of collage. Um, I think I want to put that there. I'm pretty sure. So let me just glue this down real quick. And I'm gonna use some I'm gonna leave the top open. I just like to leave it open in case you decide you want to use it. Or you can leave the side open if you wanted to use it that way. I kind of forget about that, um, leaving the side, because that that's nice when you want to put, you know, a uh, like a postcard with the tab on it to stick out. If I remember that on another one here. Okay. All right, now let's just... Journal spot, journal spot. So I could put, I just wanna break up these journaling uh, sections somewhat. Let's see, let's. I'm gonna put that there and move this here so it's not right next. That looks pretty there with that. This page is so white. I was thinking about stenciling on these pages. I gotta figure out what stencil to use though. All right, so. I also want to use this for a pocket inside one of these. I just don't like the color of this one. Mm, don't like those. I'm gonna go back and print her other pockets if I can't, I thought I had some, unless I used them already. All right, I'm gonna blow this page together. I hope there's nothing on here that's not good for reading. I think these books are old enough that there's not really any dirty words, but <coughs> you never know. You have to watch the Dollar Tree ones. Okay, yeah. Well, a lot of books do nowadays. I remember when I was in high school, like the boys would get 
some kind of book or magazine or something with a dirty word in it. And that would circulate the whole entire school. <laughs> Everybody wanted to see it. All right. Um, I think I want to zigzag around here. Hold on one second. Actually need to go and buy some uh, brown thread. I'm almost out. All right, so let's glue this down. I guess I'll just use. You know what I use, should use? Because this doesn't like thread. in that. And I could put something up here. I could put a flower there. I just don't have very many skinny flowers. That's way too All right, well, one of these days I'm gonna find a, some reason to use these big flowers. So let's find a journal card to put in there, and I will um, decorate it later. Let's get this on the page if I have to cut it off a little bit. So I'll come back and I'll sew this, and we can decorate that. Okay, so it's coming together here. I don't think we're probably gonna have too much more to go. All right, so there's a book page type thing in this one and book page in that one, book page in this one. So they all have book pages. I have this this book page and it's crooked. I, I just don't know how to get rid of it. I'll never use it because I don't like it that it's crooked. And then I have this <coughs> little pocket here. How would that look in the front of one of the covers? I've got to work on the cover too. I have no idea what I'm gonna use. Oh, I've got this in this cover, so I don't have to worry about that. That is gonna be a journal card. I could put a tag there. And I thought about covering up that photograph. Hmm. I 
think if I do cover it, I'm just going to cover it with um, how about a ruffle? Do I have any ruffles that are done? Something like that. It's actually the only ruffle I have. I just wonder if I had a different color. Oh, hmm. that's Christmas. I have that or I have this. Let me see. I think this one matches better. All right, I'm gonna stick that ruffle on there. And that's Christmas. I have this book edge and it doesn't quite hide that all right I'm gonna put this on here just just to give it something but not take up the writing space Maybe I'll make some more of these ruffles for a page in each journal, just to blend it all in. All right, I'm gonna put it out a little bit so it hangs off the edge somewhat. There we go. looks pretty there but that's kind of a pretty journal page right there I like writing on kind of like it on that envelope. We have to cover that family up there too. And that's another one I can just put a ruffle across it like that. I just have to make another ruffle. I could put that up there. Hmm. That kind of shows through. Um, I can still see the word family through it. I don't know. I can't really see it as well there with that one. I like that. I wish I had left this laying down. Left it laying open. It's 
This is where I'm not supposed to put any pressure on it, right? Did I remember that? Not really. Remember I was telling you how to, um, she was saying don't, don't push on it, just pat it down so it doesn't seep through. And then it'll absorb into the fabric nicely. I might even just leave this in. No, I better leave it because I might cut off the string. I'm just going to leave it out there like that. I don't have any. Um... Okay, so I wanted to put this in. Maybe I'll put it in a different book. Doesn't seem to want to. Doesn't want to fit in here. Let's try this one. Nope. Okay, it's all on the edge of this. So you can still see the music and this is a journal side. Well, you can't see the music if I put, unless I put a small little card in there. Okay, let me look here. I need something that's a little bit I like that card with that color like that there I think um, that that's not really a journaling spot on here either so if I do this at least I'll have a place I can put a pocket up there I could leave it open on this side but that's not very big so I don't know what size journal card I could stick in there but I could cut one small one up Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue it on three sides right now. which leaves this open completely. So if I put like a postcard size, see, I can stick that in there. Yep, like that. All right, so that's that. I'm just gonna have to find a little tag of some sort to put in there. A few tags. <clears throat> 